Migrating fibroblasts form lamellopodial protrusions at their leading edge by assembling a dendritic network of branched actin filaments. Jason Hawke and colleagues at North Carolina State University in Raleigh previously found that fibroblasts maintain or change their direction by branching off new lamellopodia from existing ones. What we didn't know is how new lamellopodia are initiated and how they are oriented. So using high-resolution turf microscopy, uh, my student Heath Johnson observed that a new lamellopod generally followed both temporally and with respect to its orientation the appearance of an adherent philopod. Philopodia are composed of parallel F-actin bundles and are often too small to resolve using other more commonly used modes of light microscopy. And Heath went on to develop image analysis protocols that allowed us to quantify what proved to be a striking spatiotemporal coupling between adherent philopodia and lamellopodia. This relationship was even clearer when the researchers labeled philopodia with the actin bundling protein FASIN1. Moreover, even when Hawke and colleagues stimulated protrusion by photoactivating the RAC GTPase, the resulting lamellopodia extended along nearby philopodia. So we reasoned that if FASIN1 is involved in the formation and stabilization of philopodia, then we could use that as a way of tuning this coupling between philopodia and lamellopodia. And our expectation would be that the cell would exhibit fewer lamellopodia if FASIN1 were depleted from the cells. And conversely, would exhibit more lamellopodia if FAST1 was overexpressed. And consistent with that hypothesis, we found that cells with reduced or overexpressed FAST1 expression exhibited fewer or more morphological extensions, respectively. Hawke and colleagues previously found that PI3 kinase signaling increased following the onset of protrusion and is required to stabilize nascent lamellopodia. Johnson et al. now used a fluorescent biosensor of PI3 kinase activity to investigate whether the pathway was active in the adherent philopodia that direct lamellopodial protrusion. PI3 kinase signaling was in fact enriched in these structures, often before it was upregulated in the lamellopodia emerging around them. So in addition to serving a structural role in seeding new lamellopodia, Philopodia also play a signaling role 